My grandma used to put this in hers. Ready to start pouring in? Yep. Oh, we, we see it all with wonder. Wait. We dream in every color. And we come alive. We know Mommy, together we can find it. There's a glow inside us. Yeah. Ready to begin. This is where ideas become reality if you have that family recipe or concoction that you guys really like. So I made the leap. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. I didn't want to say that, so I jumped right in and it just kept rolling and rolling and rolling. And uh, here I am, still doing it 10 years later. This is where our dreams begin. I got into a salsa making contest with a friend of mine, and it kind of became a, a spitting match on whose was hotter, my old mine's hotter, old mine's hotter. And my goal was to make a sauce that was not salty and vinegary like Tabasco or Frank's Red Hot, that had a lot of flavor and just an above average heat level. Seven years of trial and error, and I came out with my original tomato-based habanero jalapeno hot sauce. My father-in-law is from Lebanon. He grew up in Lebanon. All of these recipes are family recipes, which I think is just, it brings a little taste of Lebanon, a whole new culture to the Midwest, and we want to bring our little restaurant recipes from the Midwest nationwide. We had this family recipe. My mom had it on an index card. Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter, we would mix it up, sausage links, start dipping it, and the three brothers and my sister, we just started hammering that stuff on everything. And that's how I got to tailgating at the University of Akron with my zips and then down at the Buckeyes, and it just kind of grew from there. The Northwest Ohio Cooperative Kitchen, or the NOC, I see it as a launch pad for entrepreneurs we give them the tools and the resources to develop their product to take the recipe to the market. It's more than just a product that's being produced here. It's a community here. It's an area where there's networking, there's programming. And a lot of the times, the people that produce here, they might be doing the same thing, but they're always here to help each other out. Going into the CPG world and bottling things and having prepackaged goods, that was, I'm still learning. I mean, this is a new process for us and it's, I, I feel like I'm just every single day learning something new. So different from running a restaurant. Thankfully, everyone at The Knock has been super helpful in pointing us to like websites and how to get our license, every different license that we need and labels and products. And they just have so much information that I wouldn't have even thought of. When we first walked in the door, they gave us a laundry list of things that we needed to have to prepare our product here at the Knock. Everything from becoming an LLC to a, a business plan to getting your process authority letters and they just kind of helped you and showed you in the right directions what to do. And then the facility itself provides a lot of the bigger equipment uh, like the kettles, the production line, you provide all the smaller things, so it's a savings of literally up front of hundreds of thousands of dollars. Not only is it a production facility, which allowed entrepreneurs like me, I didn't have to buy a building, I didn't have overhead, I didn't have to buy equipment, I didn't have to get a house or a facility license, they do that here and relatively inexpensive for beginners. But the other part about it, it's the educational part, that they help you take that idea to possibly become reality. My favorite part of working with entrepreneurs is when we've went through everything that they need to follow and they're processing just to look at their faces. When that jar comes out and it's full and the end production, we have a label on it, we have a code, and they can take it to the market. So that's our goal. 
not just to have this, this small little recipe, but how do we make that evolve to, to get to the next step, to open, whether it be a restaurant using your product, whether it be a food truck, whether it be a caterer, we do all that. We hold their hand through that whole process. Growing up in a family food industry, I really understand entrepreneurs' challenges. I understand the prices that, you know, that it's hard to overcome sometimes because everything, you know, can cost a lot. I am very passionate when I work with anybody that comes in here. I do not make a product myself, but I know how hard that is to get that product to the point where they can sell it and for it to be safe. We're in five local grocery stores. We made it out to a grocery store in Wisconsin. We're on walmart.com. We sell on our website. We started off with one product. When I made the, the turnover, we actually had 17 products. We actually now have 19. We're gaining countrywide recognition and worldwide recognition with our products. What the SIF Center allowed me to do is start with one store, two stores, 10 stores, and it kept growing from there and it evolved that. I currently have two distributors that distribute my product, not only locally, but I am in multi-states around the country uh, with my product. And again, the beginning started here. Do not be afraid to ask questions. The people here at the SIFT are a plethora of knowledge. They have tons of resources, and if they can't get you the answer, I'm sure they can find somebody who could get you the answer. The NOC helped us so much, and the people there, I would say look into them and see what information they can give you because the people there gave us, I mean, it was an entire checklist of here's the things that you need to start, and that's, had I not had that, I would have just been Googling. If you have a restaurant and you're looking to bottle anything, seriously reach out to the people at the knock. They are so helpful. The basics are still the same. I don't care if it's mustard, salsa, jellies, chocolate, whatever it is. They taught me how to take that family recipe and run with it. I'm Paula Ray. My name is Karim Hamuda. And I help start new small food businesses at the NAC. I'm Tim Campbell. My name is Kevin Mackey. I'm Kendra Baruti. I got started here at the NAC.